You're listening to Good Morning Marlow on Marlow FM 97.5. Matt, good morning. How are you, morning. sir? Morning, Chris. How are you? I'm very, very well. How was your Christmas and how was your New Year? Really good, thanks. Really good. Uh, that's OK. Uh, no, you're fine. And so tell me about uh, this great weight loss that I've, I've spotted of you. Because when I first met you, which was how many years ago? Five years ago? Six years ago? Um, uh, you were a different oh, size chap than you are now. I was a bit rounder. <laughs> you, you were substantially more rounded. So tell me about rounder. that. I a bit rounder. I think we all fall into that comfortable part of our lives and uh, we're not watching what we eat um and yeah before we knew it i'd put on about five stone over probably about 10 years um and it was time to to take control of my life and and get fitter for my children so that was your own decision you weren't advised by a doctor because because my story is a bit similar because before i knew before i met you uh, I too was a, a substantially larger gentleman than I am now, uh, and I actually lost six stone in weight. I came down from about 18 stone to about 12 stone, which is still where I am, luckily. Um, so I was about six stone, but I did that because of a of a doctor's warning. My my GP said to me, Chris, you're, you're now 50, um, unless you do something about your 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 fitness and your weight. The GP said, I don't think that you're going to make 60, so I'd like to see you in 10 years' time. So um, the GP didn't exactly say diet or die, but it was it was pretty close. So I, mean, I, I, I chose the four-letter word. Um, and uh, so, so that's, that's why I did it. But you, you weren't spurred on by a, a warning, it was just self generated No, absolutely. Fortunately, um, even though my weight wasn't healthy... I hadn't visited a doctor in absolutely ages, so I didn't have any recommendation from a from a sort of a clinical point of view. Um, for me, it was a personal choice. I had two young children, and uh, it was just simple little tasks like walking upstairs, um, tying your shoelaces. You know, yeah. those simple little things in in life that you take for granted that became really tough um, with the weight getting in the way. Um, wanting to run around with my son playing football you just yeah. couldn't keep up with him um so things had to change i am currently about four stone lighter than what i was so i think i'm down from about 17 and a half down to about 13 and a half yeah that's brilliant that's brilliant and have you found that what you wanted to do in terms of being able to keep up with your son uh playing playing football on the in the garden or in the common have you found out that that has actually worked has that resulted that you can do that Absolutely. Um, walking upstairs, especially to uh, my studio, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, on a full floor, you know, I'm not out of breath anymore, keeping up with my son running around uh, the field, absolutely. Um, all those little tasks, you know, like I say, bending down, tying up shoelaces now, you can easily bend over, um, yeah. you know, and reach your feet. Absolutely. Well, that, that, yeah. It's a lovely feeling, isn't it? <laughs> it, 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 it is. It is. It's a lovely feeling when your tummy isn't in the way of you. Yeah. 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 I know all about it, although it's, for me it was about 15 years ago I made the conversion. What I say to my clients, I don't know if, you, if people have said this to you as well, people say, when they discover my story, they say, oh, it's amazing, you lost six stone. I said, yeah. And I said, how long, did you, how long did you lose that over? And I said, it, was, it took about two years. And they say, God, that, that's, that's an amazing rate. You managed to lose six stone over two years. And I said, yeah, that sounds a lot, but it's actually it's only one pound a week. In fact, it's just a little bit less than one pound a week on average. Uh, and they say, really? Uh, yeah, and I have to convince them that with, with some maths that all, all they've got to do is lose a pound a week if they want to lose six stone in two years or three stone in one year. Absolutely. Um, you know, and obviously yourself and loads of other great trainers out there, you know, they give you um, fantastic advice um, to, to control your mindset. Because um, when when you're when you're changing from just eating junk, eating a lot of sugar, eating a lot of excess calories, um, it's all those little mindset pieces that come together to help you through, you know, changing the, the your outlook. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's it's those small little changes. And like you say, one one pound a week, it doesn't sound a lot, um, but it is. It's it's a great deal when you when you build it up over time. Yeah, it's all about consistency, isn't it? Consistency, really? what you do most of the time. Yeah, you don't have to do it every, all the time, but nope, do it nope. most of the time to get through. Brilliant. So I'd like to talk a little bit more about that, but also focus on your, on your life as a fitness photographer. I'm with my guest, Matt Marsh, and Matt is one of the country's top fitness photographers. So, so for those people who don't know what we're talking about, what, what, what is a fitness photographer? 
<laughs> the man with the squeaky chair. <laughs> <laughs> a fitness photographer is uh, is somebody who, uh, in in my opinion, documents physiques. So I don't classify myself as a sports photographer. That's somebody you know who would say photograph a football match, etc. So I primarily uh, concentrate on physiques. So if we twisted the word slightly to say physique photographer um this could be anyone from a sports professional who needs obviously portraits uh documenting their physique for any particular reason bodybuilders and as i've noticed um over the last few years the dynamics of uh the, the what i call the physique photography the fit, fitness photography is changing slightly to now incorporate um body transformations so people that are transforming their lives, like you did, um, entering into this world of competing or just coming for a photo shoot to document their progress, to document their their transition from basically being unhealthy to now being this fit individual. So people can come to you and uh, have a series of fo- photos taken at intervals to document their their, in- their increasing, increasing fitness levels, uh, the, the improvement in their physiques? They can do. I would say most would potentially... Uh, they would they would get a coach and be coached to a point where obviously they're going to be what I call photo shoot shape, photo shoot ready. Um, the coach will have all the necessary um, advice and expertise into ensuring they become photo shoot shape, photo shoot ready, and uh, and then there would be an end point or a a point at which they work towards you know to come and visit me in the studio. Excellent. So you're actually based very close to us, just down the road in High Wycombe. I am indeed. I'm just uh, in in Westbourne Street in High Wycombe. I've got a fantastic warehouse studio. Um, it started off as just a photography studio, whereas uh, obviously with, with the area of my expertise, I needed gym equipment. So instead of travelling around the country utilising commercial gyms, um, I decided to set them up my own gym as well so my my studio doubles up as uh, as an in-house studio gym for for my needs brilliant got a question here it's just come in from Stuart, who's in high wickham and Stuart says has matt got examples of his work online that i can see i have indeed i thought um, you would <laughs> <laughs> um the, the the best place to see my work and the most current work because uh, i do have a new website under construction is uh, my instagram it's matt underscore underscore marsh and that has all my current uh, current work and most of it was uh, created in my in-house studio gym in high wickham so that's on instagram it's matt underscore underscore marsh exactly yeah brilliant um, and you've got a new website underway. The thing about, thing about fitness people I've discovered is they've always got a new website. Oh, every, every fitness person I know has got a... Has got the a, the uh, minute you have a website designed, it's out of date the next day. So it, it's just a continuous process. But uh, mine's not been touched for many years. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be extremely busy. Um, and uh, I think uh, the way of social media these days, most of uh, referrals, inquiries, etc., comes from social media. So the, the website has taken... a a little bit of a back seat but now I've uh, automated all my bookings I've automated all my availability it's uh, it's time to upgrade the website so everybody can just go straight to my website and uh, book slots without me uh, becoming involved has it got busier uh, over the years because you've been doing this I know for a number of years um, in terms of the number of people who want to have their physiques documented by you does it has it grown consistently or has there been peaks and troughs it has indeed like i say when i first started it was primarily bodybuilders uh, the bodybuilding world shifted to incorporate what we call a physique and bikini class um and then obviously that ended up uh, creating loads more bookings and then obviously we digress then from what i just touched on earlier where um the personal training world has also digress to uh, being online so you've got a lot of online coaches which are coaching people um, for photo shoots um, specifically for photo shoots you know they have an end goal of coming to me so again so it's the 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 market has opened up from sort of one particular um, niche to sort of a little bit more of a wider niche now um, and I'd say transformation shoots, tra- transformation body shoots or body confidence shoots if you'd like to call it um, have become huge over the last couple of years. Right 
And what kind of is the split between boys and girls, men and women? I would say, for me personally, I probably do 60% women, 40% guys. Right. Um, other photographers solely concentrate on mainly females or mainly guys, depending. I obviously shoot both. Um, I feel I can bring out the best in both sexes. I don't necessarily need to concentrate on one. So, uh, so I'm open to both and uh, both get the, uh, the top class direction no matter what. Right. And is there, is there an age range that you'd uh, be working with? Um, generally, I don't photograph anyone under the age of about 18 because, as you can imagine, fitness is yeah. skimpy outfits. Um, so I try to keep the uh, the age range to 18. And then I would say the, the eldest I've had so far is 70 years old. So I would say no. Anyone, anyone older than 70, give me a shout. <laughs> right. So, I mean, if somebody's thinking, oh, I, I'd like to do this, I'd like to document my transformation to my, of my physique because I'm planning to get a lot, lot fitter, during the year 2022. Um, should they contact you or should they say, oh, no, let's wait until I've, I've completed my transformation? Or would they say, oh, no, no, Matt is obviously used to dealing with far more professional people than me. I'm not used to a photo shoot. I'm not used to this kind of environment. Would you still encourage that kind of person to come and see you? Absolutely. Um, for, first and foremost, I'd say if you are capable of becoming lean and fit yourself, by all means, you know, do it yourself. But I always think that a coach will push you a lot harder and a lot further than what you maybe will push yourself. Um, booking a photo shoot will also give you this goal. It will help. It will hold you accountable. So, you know, that, that Friday night where you may have fallen off the wagon potentially won't happen if you've got that photo shoot looming. So I think for accountability and that extra little push, I definitely say go ahead and book, book a photo shoot to document your transformation. You don't have to be as lean as a bodybuilder. You don't have to be as lean as jumping on stage. Um, you just have to be happy and confident in yourself. Um, the posing, though, during the day uh, in, in a photo shoot, that will all come from me. Right. I was going to say, uh, to what extent do you have to guide people as to what to do? Because people think, oh, I'm going to have my photo goes, photos taken. Great. I, I, you know, I know how to do that. I just look at the camera and smile. But it, it's much more than that, isn't it? And it, not, not it, is it more than that. It's, it's, it's more than that. And most people don't know what to do. Exactly. And uh, any, anyone that does know me knows that, uh, you know, I, I give uh, full direction throughout um, and uh, it, it gets quite comical at times. I always say my, uh, my <laughs> hips are campus Christmas. So, uh, yeah, they're, uh, you know, I, I direct all the way through um, and there's, there's, there's nothing that I won't show you. So, Matt, what's, what's the furthest somebody's travelled to you for a photo shoot, either in, in High Wycombe or anywhere else? I think I've, I've had customers, clients coming from sort of all over Europe. Um, I've had Spain, had, had Norway. Wow. Um, the, uh, the, the gentleman I was talking about earlier, um, who was 70, he actually travelled all the way from Norway to come and see me. Right. So uh, yeah, that was a that was a trying time actually. Yeah, he booked in. You know, everything was booked, hotel, flights, etc. And unfortunately, my uh, my daughter was around about two two and a half at the time, and she was taken critically ill, and she was uh, in in intensive care in uh, St George's Hospital. So it was uh, it was a proper tricky one you know you, you don't want to leave the hospital but at the same time you've you've got this guy that's flying in um and uh obviously with uh, with my wife's blessing i i carried on and and went ahead with uh, with this guy's shoot um which in all fairness i think it was it was a blessing in disguise because you know coming away from the hospital at the time and, and focusing on somebody else just gave gave my mind just that five minutes rest probably what i needed um at, at, at the time um and also you know uh having somebody of that age in front of you who was in such great condition was was just amazing to see somebody who's taken health and fitness all the way through you know a bit like uh, a bit like arnold schwarzenegger who you know just continues every day no matter what the age yeah, absolutely. And as you said, he was doing it right up to the age of 70. So. Yes, yeah. I've got a few yeah. years left on me. I've got to say, uh, I have a feeling I know how old you are, Chris. So uh, <laughs> is it about five or so? <laughs> five or so. That's not my age. That's how many years to go to 70. 
I hasten to add, yeah. So I'll, I'll come and be your, your eldest uh, um, candidate for a photo shoot. Brilliant. On the day after You're my seventieth, the um, day after my seventieth birthday. So, uh, how long does a photo shoot normally take? If somebody comes on and says, uh, right, you know, you've got, booked a time with me, I've arrived at your studio. Um, here is my bikini I'm going to change into, or my swimming trunks I'm going to change into for the shoot, or my uh, gym wear with my shorts and t-shirt and so on. Uh, from that point onwards, how long are they? How long are they with you? So I I offer um, an hour or two hour slots. Um, I normally say if if you have no experience, go for the two hour slot because the first half an hour you may be nervous. Um, you'll get to know me, and honestly, we'll 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 hit it off straight from the the very beginning. I'll I'll put your mind at rest. You put your nerves at ease. Um, but uh, when when you arrive. We're, we're going to have a little bit of brief, see what you want to achieve, if there's any particular photos that you, you want to get from your session. Um, then if you want to have a little what I call warm-up, pump-up, obviously we need a bit of time for that because, um, as I've mentioned before, my my studio is also pretty much a full gym. You know, it has top-of-the-range uh, primal strength equipment in there. It is, there's not much I don't have. Um, so, I, so I guess that, that's for two reasons. One is to... For the warm up pump up, which you should talk about, absolutely, and, and, and also to be props in the fo- photos as well. Indeed, so three reasons actually. Oh, right. <laughs> three reasons. So one, one abs- absolutely, it's uh, it's to pump up, warm up, you know, get the blood flowing around the body. Then it was to obviously help me uh, not travel around the country and just create more photos near a home. Um, you know, I had to try and invest more time into my family and, you know, and I wanted to. So whereas when I'm travelling, you know, you're spending sort of four hours getting up to Leeds, Manchester, etc., and four hours back. So, and then obviously the third reason was it opened up another avenue. So I have a handful of personal trainers who book uh, into my studio when I'm not there and they uh, they personal train their clients which uh, which is another great reason for having the gym equipment in my studio oh that makes a great deal of sense absolutely so i mean how many sessions a week would you normally have or how many clients for, for, for photo shoots would you normally see in a week um do you know what? it varies and it's very seasonal so at the moment it's my it's my quiet time so january february is also is always pretty quiet everyone's sort of getting back back into the swing of things you know losing those christmas pounds so from march onwards it sort of picks up and december used to be quiet but now december generally is quite busy as well so march to december is is kind of the 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 year um october november time can be quite busy because that's when all the bodybuilding competitions tend to come to an end and likewise march april that's when they all start so those are sort of busy months as well on average i'd say you know it's not uncommon for me to see sort of 100 plus people per month wow. um oh, and that's that, it's, it's brilliant absolutely brilliant. now that is a mixture of one-to-one private bookings and also um personal trainers and coaches uh block booking sort of group shoots which are huge amounts of fun right tell me about the, the group shoots so um what we'll have is a, a group of, you know, six, eight, ten, twelve, etc., come into the studio all in one go, because as I say it's it's a fifteen hundred square foot studio, so can easily accommodate these uh, larger groups. And what we tend to do is um we rotate through the group. Um so somebody will be in front of me, being directed by me, capturing some pictures, and then obviously then they get a bit of a break and somebody else jumps in and we sort of rotate and just the, the atmosphere, the buzz of the group being there and especially if it's an online coach where people don't know one another and then they know they've all been on the same transformation for 12, 16 weeks together and then they've all come and met one another then in one place at one time um, is, is, is a, a great achievement. Right. I mean, if, if I saw my future, which perhaps is tough at being age 65, but if I saw my future as a model and maybe a male or female, I, I want to be a model. Could I come to you and use the shots from you uh, as part of my modelling portfolio and, and submit them to modelling agencies, submit them to editors for Absolute. publication and so on? Absolutely. So modelling agencies will look for a headshot, they'll look for a three-quarter length and a full length um, photograph um obviously digital portfolios it's really easy these days you can just email um a, a, like a z card across to a modeling agency to see if you're suitable so yeah absolutely um and quite a lot of my clients have picked up various 
modelling contracts. Um, I think one of my sort of claim to fame is uh, a guy that uh, that I photograph quite frequently. Um, he was in the Money Supermarket advert as He Man. Oh right! <laughs> so uh, yeah, so there you go. He's uh, he's done done really really well. I mean, he was he was all he was doing well before he he came to me anyway. But um, but obviously, it's great to know that uh, you know my shots along the way have still helped. Obviously, his his modelling portfolio. And the shots that you took of him actually went into his portfolio that he used to get uh, that particular assignment. Uh, I, I don't know that for sure, but I would say yes. Um, obviously, I know my shots were used in his portfolio, so absolutely. That's brilliant. So, Matt, in terms of coming for, to you for a physique photo, photo shoot, um, what kind of preparation would I have to do first? I mean... I mean uh, I could understand I'd be wearing gym kit or gym shorts, probably, or maybe uh, maybe some, yep. some, some longer swimming trunks. But uh, anything else that, that people would do? So we've we've accomplished the diet and the training. We're, yeah. we're all on point, ready for our photo shoot. So the first thing I obviously advise is getting a spray tan. Right. Okay, especially if you're white origin, um, 100% spray tan. You're looking for definition. So, obviously, I'm going to be blasting sort of 5,000 watts of lighting, you know, to, <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to, to, to capture, you know, a great, a great photo. So, uh, yeah, we, we need to have a tan, a, a, a nice, even, golden sort of complexion tan. Um, that, that will help the, define you more, will help the definition. Now, we do this generally the day before, the evening before. Um, you have a cool shower the morning before the shoot. When you say, when you say we do this, you don't do that. This is, uh, this no, no, it's uh, all, all my recommended suppliers or I have my own in-house tanner, Sarah, who, uh, who right. does tanning at my studio. So right. anyone local or anyone staying over, because some people like to stay over so they know they're not going to be late, you know, because as I mentioned before, people come from far. So, uh, yeah, so we can, we can do this all in, in-house. Um, and then, uh, so you have a cool shower... The uh, the residue of the tan is 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 all off the skin. Uh, you you arrive for your photo shoot. You have your pump up, your warm up, like we've uh, discussed. And then the next thing we have is we need a little bit of shine on the skin. So obviously we're looking for those highlights and lowlights when we talk photography terms. So shadows, you know, um, and uh, the oil helps bring this out even more so the the one i recommend is a a vaseline body oil gel the gel for me works the best things like fluid or baby oil it it tends to make a bit bit of a mess so i go for the gel right interesting yeah it Uh, all comes together yeah and it all comes together it all comes together on on the day so diet diet training tan oil direction from myself you know it it it's it's a big cocktail that all comes together at the very end. You must be used to dealing with nervous people because people when you come into the studio they're not they're not used to appearing uh, in 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 public or in front of people they don't know um, wearing very little uh, although they they know they look great because the diets come together and the yeah. exercises come together. I would say majority of my clients are quite nervous even even though they look fantastic. Um, it's the first question I get. Um, on on an email, it's like I've never done this before. It's out of my comfort zone, etc. Um, so yeah, but um, I ha- I have a a knack of of putting people at uh, at ease when they're in front of me. You know, I help with all the posing, and I I just find chatting, yeah. chatting to people. You know, finding out about their lives, etc. And the more you chat, the more their mind drifts, and it drifts away from them thinking about their nerves. That's brilliant. It, absolutely. Matt, thanks so much for being my guest today. It's been fascinating talking to you. I know I, I've, I've been in one of your photo shoots, a couple of your photo shoots. You have. Uh, the, the, the photos are around my house and me and my <laughs> wife have to walk past them every single day. <laughs> but Brilliant. I've, I've enjoyed it. Thanks again for being my guest. You're very uh, welcome. Uh, can you just end up by telling people how they can get in touch with you should they be interested in talking to you about doing their own shoot? Absolutely. So uh, my, my website, mattmarshphotography.co.uk, um, easy to get me on email, it's matt at mattmarshphotography.co.uk. Should have picked a, should have picked a, uh, a shorter email address, but that's matt <laughs> at mattmarshphotography.co.uk. Or uh, please feel free to have a look at my Instagram, matt underscore underscore marsh. That's all my updated uh, work. I, uh, I generally post most days. 
great. Matt, lovely to speak to you again. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. You're listening to Good Morning Marlow on Marlow FM 97.5.